Hey, this is Erin and this is our craft table. And today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be decorating my refrigerator. Um, the refrigerator usually has a message board on here with um, some dry erase markers and stuff like that just to, you know, be able to write little notes on the fridge like what we need to get at the grocery store or whatever. So that's not exactly festive looking. So I put all that stuff over on this side of the fridge. Um, and I'm going to decorate on this side. I gathered a few supplies and um, I think I'm just going to make a little decoration on the fridge. So over here on my bar I have some garland. Um, this is just two um, strands of garland that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I also have some ornaments that are already stuck on uh, this side of the refrigerator just to kind of keep them here for when I was going to do this craft. Um, but I got those from the Dollar Tree and I'll point them out as I start to use them. But I took some ornaments that I got and just put some magnets on the back. You don't necessarily have to do the magnets, you could definitely just do, um, just put them up with tape because they're not very heavy. but. I wanted to use magnets because I wanted it to be easily removable and also I just wanted to make sure that, that I could use them year after year after year. So anyway, since I'm over here, this is this is my little bar area. This is what I want to be my coffee bar, so hopefully one time when you see it after the holidays it'll actually be a coffee bar. I need to get a coffee pot first, that might help. But um, right now I just have my glasses up there that I got from the Dollar Tree. A few bottles of wine that I got from a wine festival. Um, a little fountain that True got a while ago, actually. And over there I have some um, some Chinese food boxes that I got from Walmart. I think they're like 97, 98 cents each. And those little boxes have um, yeah, little Christmas designs on them and holiday designs. So I got those because every year we do. Um, a little party with just the three of us for a Christmas story. So we watch a Christmas story after we eat a little meal of Chinese food. And uh, so I got those little, I got those little boxes to go as a centerpiece for our little Chinese food meal. So I'll have to have Koi put a picture up here somewhere so you guys can see that. But anyway, back to the craft. So, um, like I said, I got this garland. It's really nice and long, so I am going to make a Christmas tree. And I've never done this before, but I think it's going to work out, so let's try it out. So I have some tape. I was thinking about doing this with magnets too, and um, I don't know, I might, I might swap out the tape for magnets, but I'm really not sure. Um, but, I don't know, I think it'll work out fine just with tape. So I'm just going to string this all the way down. i hold this. I don't want it to go down too low because of um, our cats. I don't want them to try to mess with it too much. So I think that's something you might need to keep in mind if you have um, pets in the house or little kids who might want to mess with it. You know, just, I think you probably just have to keep it nice and secure. That didn't work with the tape. Let's see. That was part of the reason why I wanted to glue magnets on here instead, because with the tape, sometimes you get more garland than anything else, and it doesn't really attach with tape. And I know because I tried to tape some garland to my walls and it didn't really work. There we go. Or it didn't work that well anyway, but it worked. I think the trick is to get a nice long piece of tape. See, I'm messing up. This is why I wanted True to help me with this. <laughs> but True didn't really feel like doing craft today, so I understand that. I'm not gonna make her. It's not fun if somebody makes you do a craft. Look at all the since the letter got off of that tape, doesn't it? That's better. Okay, I'm going to reposition this one because this, the 
it's not quite where I want it. Okay, so I have the outline of the tree where I want it, and I am just gonna cut off this part because we need to be able to open up the refrigerator and freezer separately and not together. So I'm gonna cut this part off. First I'm gonna make sure that it's secure right here, which it is not, so I'm gonna put some tape right here. And it's secure right there, so let me do that and then cut where I need to. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit right here to complete this line, and then we should have a tree. Making sure these are nice and aligned. I think it looks kind of lopsided because this part is not straight enough. Okay, that's better. And, freezer, which you open, you don't have to worry about stuff coming off. So, I, um, I got some Dollar Tree ornaments. And these ornaments come three in a pack. If you've been to Dollar Tree, I'm sure you've seen them. The lighting probably isn't too great if I'm standing right there. But all I did was just put little magnets on the back. I just hot glued them on there, and that was it. So I'm going to decorate the tree with these. I also got some silver ones, so let's do that. And I also got these little jingle bells. These ornaments also came from the Dollar Tree. And I just stuck magnets on the back of these too. So you can just kind of play around with the arrangement a little bit. And I should say that I got this idea from um, Cheap Crafty Girl on YouTube. I don't know how I discovered her channel, but I did, and I'm so happy because she has the cutest little ideas, and I think maybe a year or two ago she made um, ornaments uh, uh, to put on her refrigerator that um, I think they were um, mostly, you know, the, the, gold, the globe ornaments or the ball ornaments, and she put a magnet on the back and stuck them on her fridge. It was so cute. And I thought, I really want to do that, but I don't want to totally copy her. And I want to do something a little bit different. So I thought, well, how about if I kind of frame it out in a tree? So that's where I got this inspiration. Cheap Crafty Girl, she is really awesome. She's been doing some great tutorials for, um, for Christmas. So, like I said, that's what inspired this. And I, um, I'm really liking how it's turning out. So finally, the last little piece is the tree topper. It is a nice bow that I also got from the Dollar Tree. And I stuck a magnet on the back of this too. I think it'll look very nice on top of the tree. Uh oh, I might have to do some rearranging. Okay, let's see. I got it. It's staying. I think I might have to put another magnet on these parts of the bow just to make sure it stays because the issue is the garland is underneath part of the bow so it's it's making it hard for the magnet to stick. So I'm going to have to reinforce it. I'm going to have to bring in the reinforcements. So now I have to rearrange my bows a little bit and my jingle bells. I think it's cute. Let me suck back again. Yeah, I like it. It's different. It's not something that I've done before. It's definitely a cheap way to decorate your fridge. So let me see. How much did I spend? One, two for the garland. Three for the silver. Four, five for two packs of gold. Six, 
seven, because these came two in a pack, eight. So eight dollars. Um, if you include the magnets that I bought, I got an 18 pack for I think two dollars at Walmart. So this is a ten dollar decoration for your refrigerator. I think it makes it look nice and festive and it's, you know, it's it's not super fancy or anything like that, but it's just something cute when you come into the kitchen and it just kind of reminds you that, hey, it's the holidays. So I think it's really cute. I like it. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.